All right, so hey, welcome back. So I believe I know where to, how to get the dirk for Pike. So we might as well make all the weapons at once if possible. Just have to find out how to get back to the Academy Garden. Uh, guess we'll just go from the top. Oh, we have to like. Oh, wait, is this it? Yeah, yeah. It's one of these pikey, like, jumpy holes. Can I go to the Vault of the Giants? Shadow Ball. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to go down here. Hello, Golem? And down one more. Oh, yeah, I remember this spot. We had to, like, hide in these. No. Okay, we're good. Goodbye, Golem. Nope. And... I guess it's this one. I haven't been in these areas in a while. Dense black mist. Stop chasing me. Get out of here. Get out of here too. Alright. Ah, oh, I wish they would just stop. Alright, I believe it's in here. Oh my god, hurry up. I forgot they can attack you in the cutscene. Alright, we're gonna continue on. And I believe we have to fight a golem or something. This guy. Hello, buddy. Wow, I didn't think I was gonna like drag him over to me. <laughs> How can he hit me in stealth? Come on. Alright, get a little debuff. Mark him up. He should be dead in like one hit, honestly. Yeah. And here it is. So, oh, there's a dirk right here. And now we should be good for Pike to unlock his legendary weapon. Or not? In the Order of the Shadow? Do I have like equipped it or something? It basically says... Wow, that really gives him some attack power. That gave me like crit up or something? What was that? Yeah, it didn't say if I technically got the dork, so I don't know what's up with that. Why is misfortune there? That dagger, it's cursed. I can feel it from here. That shadow magic within. Shadow magic, eh? You don't suppose it has anything to do with the order of the shadow? I hope not. If this place belonged to them, it might be near. They have eyes and ears everywhere. This belongs to the depths. It belongs with me. But if the order comes for it, then we'll let them come. Ah, there we go. I was not expecting a cutscene for that. I. I actually did not see that guy. Hopefully I can just, yeah, get around everybody pretty easily.
Hopefully a wipe is gotta turn around. Hopefully we can Nope, we got stuck on the wall. Wonderful. I won't back down. So let's see if we can just auto attack our way through. This soul reaper does like look at that 363 true damage each turn to champions. Actually insane. We make like this weapon's like really really cool looking honestly. I can't tell if it's like gems through it. Or like blood or something? I don't know. Whoa, his uh his damage went up. We're at 30 true damage now. 95. I guess it just goes up. That's gotta hurt. Every time? Oh, I was looking to die. I was gonna use Pike's T3 alt to just one shot him basically, but I mean it works. Kinda sucks. I didn't expect to get stuck on the wall, but this game and its invisible walls. Don't quite Remember? Oh yeah, I get through the golems. Man, I literally just did this and I just forgot. So, <laughs> looks he doesn't get to see me. Slip through here, and back to Thresh's library. Here we go. And yeah, this is the right way. And go make these legendary weapons now. Are oh, there three of them? Four of them? Let's see. I haven't done this yet, so... Yeah, it's four. So let's get Brahms shield. Then we have Orn's will. Captain in the Orn's forge has been blessed by the Frey Lord and Demigod himself. E to accept. So I did, um... Once you protect the vault of the demigod, the shields offer legendary protection, repelling most of the fearsome attacks. Lowy. And we get Heart of the Goddess, Nakako Boros. Many idols make capable weapons, but only this legendary weapon has earned the right to claim itself the very Heart of the Goddess. Here we get Pikes. Beautiful blade of death. Look at it. Uh, this has this perfect blade. This legendary weapon is the bottom of fear. And last one, Elise Yasuo. Crackling with electricity. Okay. It says it has the very essence of the storm and spells certain doom for anybody who stands in its path. And unfortunately, that's all we have as Ari's legendary weapons and Misfortune's legendary weapon is significantly harder to get from the rest of the group so as i said before i might not end up getting them let's see how much better these are more hp a lot more attack power actually and you get a tentacle when we've been when we begin combat so now we cracked the 2k barrier hp for her Rom gets quite a lot of health and tons of attack power, actually. A ton of defense, as well as more stamina. So, Alawi has like a thousand ish, ten thousand ish more HP than Brom, but he has like a thousand, like five hundred more defense and magic defense, which is insane. Each hit. Grants a storm razor charge at 10 and will unleash a bolt of lightning, which deals uh, 817 true damage. Gives him crit and haste and a crap ton of attack power, a little bit less health. Not too bad. And Pike gets the Dusk Blade, which gives him 2000 more attack. Increases the attack power by 10 by 10% when stealth. Let's see here. All right, this is it already gives me even more attack power. And 
That lowers his attack, which might not be the best. I'm still surprised Braum is like insane defense compared to, compared to the rest. All right, maybe we'll go back and check out the uh, fort. Or the new place that we unlocked from the guy in the temple. Oh, wait. Is there? Back. I'm gonna go up to this uh, save point up top and switch out Ari for my Yasuo. The Yasuo blade looked pretty cool. Malawi's is like gold. You can kind of... Oh, I hit rest, but I definitely didn't mean to rest. I think we've seen all the uh, conversations in the game. And Yasuo's blade looking sparkly. Pike's looking deathly. And Malawi is looking righteous. I do like Braum, but I feel like Alawi might be a better... I mean, maybe not... Maybe not likely a better tank, but... I really love her heals. And Braum just has, like, a ton of defense. So it's more of having Alawi's heals... From her tentacles, or having, like, Braum's shields. So there's, like, two chests and a book. I don't know how strong these are. Not very. 25. I, if you ask what thing, what does it say? Where does it say, like, my stacks for Yasuo? Oh, a 2 out of 10. Okay, I see. But I thought I'm in like with 10 overcharge, so we could just kind of like kept spamming my Tempest. And it would keep popping true damage, but I guess that would be way too broken. Oh, at least they don't reset after combat. like electric sparks when Yasuo attacks. Not half bad. I feel like they're pretty strong. The uh, black market guy in Buildwater had uh, Nasher rings, I believe. For, like 50 seals and they were like a legendary ring. I'm not sure how much better they may be, but... Okay. So we got a Lowey thing, which probably is way weaker. And we got a Pike armor, I believe. I actually forgot we could enchant. Let's see if we can enchant any of these. Stamina and attack. Oh, apparently we can... Uh, Upgrade the legendary weapons. Oh, we got that for Pike. The Yasuo. Attack power and stamina. Attack power and crit. Good damage. This, yeah. Okay, this seems like it'll be a decent Yasuo. I think I'll find one for Alawi, but I'm not sure. All defense in 7 by 100. Juggernaut. Maybe 8. Yes, that one's pretty good, actually. Is 
has um, defense by 100, which makes her more tanky, and stamina by 100 as well, which, yet again, makes her more tanky. So, he also gets more crit, Pike gets more damage, and Lowey gets more defense, so. Seems like a pretty good trade off. Maybe after we do this temple side quest mission thing, go see about these Nasher rings. Then maybe we can try to fight Viego again. Kind of scared me a little bit. Oh my god, look at Alawi. <laughs> I can't do anything. Oh my god. This game does have definitely quite a bit of bugs to it. Oh, 2000. He also does like such crazy damage. Look at I just feel like we're pretty busted right now. We do so much damage. Even allow he does crazy damage. I like how it gave me a um, level 10 sword for Yasuo. But I'm not sure what's in here. Um, that's kind of cool. Yes, and not entirely sure how to do this. Almost got it. That's the real. Oh, I said if we had it, then I wanted to shift and be like, nah. Can I get that here? This puzzle kind of makes no sense. I'm gonna be honest. This moves all four. This one just moves three. This one moves two. I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna be here all day. And of course, I'm getting stuck and stuff again. Like, when it says to move one or whatever, like, I don't even know which one is gonna move. Like, which one moves this? Clearly not that.
This, this one works. That moves all of them. Like, how come this one moves and not the other one? Very confusing. <laughs> 